everybody, and welcome back to Weather for Weather Geeks on this March the 14th. It's Pi Day 3.14. I looked back at the record books to see if I could find any interesting Pi, P-I, related uh, weather factoids, and I did find one. You know, snowfall is officially measured in tenths of an inch, so we can't find a record of 3.14 inches worth of snow on today's date, but we can find, back in 1980 on March the 14th, we had 3.1 inches worth of snow. That's the only time I could find on March the 14th that we had right around that magic pie mark of 3.14. Alright, since midnight last night, we picked up about a half an inch worth of snow at the airport. Most of that was pre-dawn this morning, but today was the coldest day in about six weeks. It's been since that first week of February since we've had a, a day like today. Only 27 today after a low of 23. This morning, it got pretty dicey on the roads last evening. My trip home after the 11 o'clock uh, newscast last night was very dicey. It took me almost twice the amount of time to get home as it usually does. And uh, the snow didn't add up to much more than a couple of inches, but that was enough to make roads pretty slippery. And uh, that was the case for a lot of the overnight. So we got into the daylight hours today. Despite it being below freezing, it's still March and it was snowing lightly. So most of what occurred was nothing to write home about and roads certainly did improve during the uh, course of the day today. I looked at uh, the official uh, numbers uh, relayed to the weather service today. I couldn't find anything in our viewing area more than a couple of inches or so. One to two inches was pretty common across our five county viewing area. Perhaps somewhat higher totals or the highest totals overall, roughly Route 11 and west. Amounts were maybe a little bit lower east of Route 11 towards the state line and into uh, parts of Mercer and Lawrence counties. All right, in the meantime, as of 7-11 uh, this evening, we still have some leftover flurries out there. These will finally fade away as we go through the uh, rest of the evening and into the overnight hours for tonight. The clearing of the sky is uh, taking place across northwest Ohio this evening up into Michigan. And that clearing, it'll take a good chunk of the night, but it will work in late tonight, leaving us with a much better day coming up for tomorrow. In the meantime, heading out to the east, a, a pretty stout nor'easter is impacting a good chunk of the Hudson Valley in New York, over towards a, a good chunk of Vermont and New Hampshire, down east Maine, into parts of uh, Massachusetts as well. Winter storm warnings common there, and the snow is still coming down to beat the band, as they say, in uh, Nashua, New Hampshire, Manchester, uh, Portland, Maine, down towards Boston, Providence, Hartford, and back towards the Capital District in Albany, New York, in eastern parts of the Empire State. All right, temperatures tomorrow will be... On the rebound, it's going to be a cold start. We'll be in the lower and middle 20s to kick off the day, but above freezing by midday. And while we won't get quite back to average tomorrow afternoon, we'll at least make a run at it, getting into the lower 40s before the day is through. And a bright sunshine for the second half of our Wednesday with high pressure building in and settling in briefly. High clouds will return then Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Those clouds will tend to thicken later Thursday, but this is still a pretty nice day Thursday. We'll get into the 50s and we will be dry through the daylight hours. Showers then become likely at times Thursday night and into Friday morning. I do think there's a chance that some drier air will start to win the battle as we get into the afternoon on Friday. And so while uh, <coughs> the forecast remains uh, about the same as we talked about yesterday with a chance for showers into Friday afternoon, the chance overall might be lowering Friday afternoon as compared to the morning. This may be important for, for St. Patrick's Day revelers who may find themselves outside uh, during uh, Friday, maybe uh, lingering outside of our local establishments, enjoying a uh, perhaps uh, an early weekend on Friday for St. Patrick's Day. If you are not a fan of the uh, snow that we've been dealing with over the last 24 to 36 hours, pretty nice forecast for you over the next few days with no chances for snow Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Most of Saturday should be snow-free. Saturday night into Sunday, we might get a couple of flurries. And the weekend will certainly be colder with temperatures back in the 30s. I'll tell you, though, the 6 to 10-day outlook, this covers the 20th through the 24th, does not look super cold at all. It doesn't look super warm either. But I think this period will probably be marked by fairly benign mid to late March temperatures. I think we'll have some days in the upper 40s and 50s coming our way in that uh, third week of March. So again, while it doesn't look like the, you know, the kind of upper 60s and lower 70s that we had a few times in February and very, very early March, it does not look uh, particularly cold either as well we go into the final third of the month. Longer range thoughts, you know, generally this does not look like a very warm pattern compared to the average through the end of Mar March and probably into at least the first week or two of, of April. I don't see a whole lot in the modeling to suggest we've got some sort of pattern flip coming and it's going to be straight into mid-spring. 
We'll talk more about the longer, longer range coming up later this week on Weather for Weather Geeks. Thanks for watching tonight. Hope you have a great rest of your Tuesday night. Let's do it again on Wednesday.